So, let us recollect the formula of angle between two curves over a surface, two curves on a surface of course. So, that was given by cos theta equal to g i j d u i delta u j upon uh, upon uh, mod of d r into mod of d delta s. So, mod of d r I can write down d s mod of d r one can write down d s and mod of delta r I will write down as delta s. Okay, this we already know and into delta s. Okay, and for this will become g 1 1 uh, into d u 1 over d s delta u 1 over delta s plus g 1 2 d u 1 over d s delta u 2 over delta s plus d u 2 over d s into delta u 1 over delta s plus g 2 2 into d u 2 over d s delta u 2 over delta s. So, formula will take this form for the angle between two curves over a surface. Now, if the curves are parametric, if the curves are are parametric, that means the first curve is a u 1 curve and the second curve is u 2 curve. So, what will be 0? d u 2 will be 0. So, this term will become 0 and this term will become 0 and delta u 1 is 0. So, this term will become 0 and that is all. So, cos theta in this case will be equal to g 1 2 into sorry g 1 2 d u 1 over d s delta u 2 over delta s. Okay. Let me further simplify it. So, where should I write down? Okay. Uh, this is insufficient. Okay. So, this I will write down g 1 2 d u 1 delta u 2 upon mod d r. What was mod d r? If you look back what d r was, uh, if you remember it was also equal to g 1 1 into d u 1 square plus 2 times g 1 2 d u 1 d u 2 plus g 2 2 into d u 2 square and this is also a square I am sorry. Okay. So, this one now if you are doing it on a u 1 curve d u 2 is 0. So, this term will go off this term will go off it will be g 1 1 into d u 1 square and this will be under root is under root it will be in the square root sign. So, mod d r or d s can be written as g 1 1 square root into d u 1. Similarly, the second one will be under root g 2 2 into delta u 2 and c d u 1 will now cancel out this d u 1 as well as this will cancel out and the formula will become simpler cos theta for parametric curves will be g 1 2 upon under root g 1 1 into g 2 2. So, if you are dealing with parametric curves then the formula is easier it is simply g 1 2 upon under root g 1 1 g 2 2 and now if the parametric curves are orthogonal then g 1 2 must be 0. So, parametric curves are orthogonal curves are 
perpendicular if and only if g12 is 0 this is an important observation this we will be using at many times uh, in many other situations so whenever parametric curves are orthogonal g12 is 0 all right now come back to the problem that we were discussing what problem we were discussing this we have already done okay let us take up some other problem If yes, for any surface, for any surface, yes, yes 0. This, so, we are seeing is the first fundamental form, g 1 2 is missing here. So, you can see that it is here parametric curves are orthogonal. In fact, in in uh, surface of revolution, you had seen g 1 2 was 0. So, the ortho curves were orthogonal, parametric curves were orthogonal. Now, find a formula for the angle between. Now, this formula we have already worked out. So, the only thing is they have given in terms of phi and psi. So, you can change it into this form. Uh, come to the third problem show that the orthogonal trajectory of the family of curves given by this differential equation. You are given this differential equation which represents a family of curves over a surface. Now, you have to show that this will be orthogonal if and only if this condition is satisfied. Some of the symbol are unknown over here. M and N are already given to you here, but these things E, F and G, they are not given over here. So, in some of the books, they use other symbol. For example, in many books you will see that instead of writing G they write down capital E. For G 1 2 they write down F and for uh, G 2 2 they write down capital G. So, these are the symbol which many author use. For example, Wilmore uses this symbol some other author also use it. Yes. So, here E means G 1 1, F means G 1 2 and capital G means G 2 2. So, with this understanding let us look at this problem. So, the direction I can pick from the differential equation. So, yes. So, the direction of the curve. So, this is solution to problem number 3 direction I can pick. So, you have a surface, you are given a family of curves, okay, one family of curves, other family of curves may be like this. Okay. So, I can pick the direction of one family. So, direction or whatever you call it, direction of the family of of one family of curves is given by you can pick it from here from the box differential equation. So, direction is d u upon d v that is minus times n upon m. Okay. And the other direction orthogonal suppose the direction of the other uh, family is delta u upon delta v. Suppose the direction of the other family is delta u here I can write down delta u upon delta v. Now, if these two directions are orthogonal to each other means the two family of curves are orthogonal to each other then what should happen this condition 
must hold. Okay. So, these families are orthogonal orthogonal if this condition uh, this this uh, is should be 0. So, this is the condition of orthogonal hmm? equal to 0 yes 0 equal to 0. Okay. So, so this must be g 1 1 I will write down e then the product of the direction will be minus n upon m into delta u upon delta v plus g 1 2 I will write down as what f and then you have minus n upon m plus delta u upon delta v plus capital G equal to 0. Okay. Now, you got it you just simplify it. So, delta v into m you multiply throughout it will become this kind of thing. The only difference that you notice here the direction is d u upon d v and I mentioned is del u upon del v it does not matter because differential equation you can choose the variable according to your choice. So, that solves the third problem. Okay. Now, move on to the last one uh, show that a necessary and sufficient condition that the curves uh, this is the differential equation for curves. Uh, they form an orthogonal net means the two families are orthogonal to each other if and only if this condition is satisfied. So, <coughs> what I will do I will re rewrite the differential equation. So, this is the solution for problem number 4. So, rewriting the differential equation uh, as follows. So, what I will do I will multiply I will divide by d v square. So, the given differential equation is written like this plus 2 b into d u over d v plus c equal to 0. So, differential equation becomes a quadratic equation. Okay. So, this is a quadratic equation whose roots will be d u upon d v and delta u upon delta v you can call them lambda and mu. So, suppose lambda and mu lambda and mu are the roots of the above quadratic equation. mind it that lambda and mu will denote the direction of the two families. Okay. So, we should we should denote them by d u upon d v delta u upon delta v, but that does not matter. Okay. So, these are the two uh, uh, directions. So, these two directions are orthogonal the two families are orthogonal. So, the sum of the roots I can tell you sum of the roots equal to lambda plus mu which will be minus 2 b upon a and the product of the roots equal to lambda into mu that is c upon a. Now, apply the orthogonality condition. So, orthogonality condition condition this one will be what g 1 1 is e into product of the root is lambda mu which is c upon a 
plus g 1 2 now we are denoting by f sum of the root is minus 2 b upon a plus capital G must be 0 and now you multiply throughout by a. So, this can be rewritten as E c minus 2 f b plus G a equal to 0 and that is the required condition that we wanted to establish. So, I stop at this point we will continue for with more problems in our next lecture.